Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to actually change your angle to degrees and radians. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so you've just reset your calculator and now you don't actually know where to actually change your angle to degrees and radians. That's all right. We're going to cover that right now. So let's go back into the main menu right at the top there. And we're going to go into the run menu. We're going to click on EXE. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to click on shift and menu button because that's got a little setup there. So we're going to click on shift menu. That's going to take you into setup. Once you do that, and you got to go down to angle. Now, when you reset your calculator, your calculator is always going to be in radians mode. So you need to change your calculator angle mode back to degrees. Um, if you are working with um, trigonometry, especially working with um, Sokotoa and calculating angles and so on. So we're going to change this from uh, radians to degrees and to change it to degrees, we're going to click on F1 and that's basically it. So now if I click on something like sine 30, I should get half. And there we go. I've got half because if it was in radians mode, let's say we go sine 30, what will happen is uh, you're going to end up with this ugly looking number. So I always suggest to folks that, you know, um, to do a quick check whether your calculator is in uh, degrees or radians, always remember that sine 30 is equal to half because that will give you an indication whether your calculator is in degrees or radians mode. So once again, shift setup and just go down to angle and you've got your degrees and radians options there. Mm -hmm. 